all right y'all so we got some more information about sofago and his random disappearance that he just did uh we got a little bit of information from his manager y'all know barry his managers barry and lamar but we only got info from barry right now so let's go ahead and check this out okay so basically this stat came out that as y'all see right there only fans generated 5.6 billion in payments and 1.3 billion in revenue 658 million in profit before tax in 2023 and then barry fago's manager repost this and he go new management arm question mark question mark okay but then you know then we got the so fago fans they swipe up i mean they repost them they like nah it seemed like you can't even manage fago how the fuck you gonna manage the only fans creator and then this is when barry responds with his laughing emojis he's laughing and because he already know you know what i'm saying then he goes on to say sometimes you just have to let artists go through their ups and downs and hope they find their way through but i'm gonna keep supporting him because i believe lamar believe cactus jack believes travis believe now let me touch on this real quick because a lot of people don't really understand the situation or contract that fago is in fago is in a partnership deal with travis scott he's not signed to a major label like okay let me take destroy lonely let's just say ken carson for example okay so ken is signed to opium but signed to interscope at the same time now you could check this out easily by doing a quick like if you go to somebody's newest project or you go to ken's newest project or loan's newest project scroll down and you look at the credits it'll say opium slash interscope records which who that is who ken is signed to i believe loan is probably signed to the same one now if you do this with fago and you scroll to his newest project or his any releases that he's done it just says cactus jack because he's only signed to cactus jack cactus jack is a derivative of a major record label it's like this it's like universal or sony and then interscope you feel what i'm saying cactus jack or like however you sign however and that would be if he were to sign to interscope you feel what i'm saying it would go like that now let's also take this into account this same manager also manages Che, bro. And Che is getting a lot of the spotlight right now. Che is really hot. Like that new project that he just dropped. I still ain't even listened to the whole thing. I did listen to a good bit of it, though. I, I enjoy some of the songs. But sometimes, bro, like Che music is just too much for me, bro. I don't know if I'm old, bro. Like I'm not even getting old, bro. But sometimes I just can't listen to it, bro, for some reason. Y'all know some Che, bro. Put me on in the comments. I seen some people put me on in the comments with the Net Spirit video, bro. And I did listen to some of those songs. If y'all watching, bro, I appreciate y'all. Y'all did put me on. All right, so let's talk about Fago's disappearance. His casual disappearance that he does after he drops. Say he drops like a song or two songs or anything. He drop on all plats, anything like that, bro. He's gonna drop, disappear for like three months. Like, I'm talking about no Instagram posts. Like, it's really serious. Like, he literally disappears off the face of the internet. If you were a Fago fan, you know Fago never used to do it. Like, Fago was very active with his fans on all like on everything bro as soon as he signed a cactus jack and he took that break instead of instead of just you know what i'm saying striking the iron wise hot he took that break spaced out dropping music almost didn't drop for two years i believe it was like a year and six months a year and eight months without no music which is crazy for somebody who just had a popping song on tiktok that just blew up we got new cardi we getting cardi snippets cardi out in public he, he dressing like cash cardi like we got new mozart being found before we even getting fago music bro like it's just bad as a community right now now let's get back to the topic of fago's management because we have went through a little era where fago's management tried to make the fans look dumb or try to make us look like oh y'all don't know what's going on uh you just gotta wait music takes time but i think they were just covering for fago's bro my name because like look bro fago is genuinely not dude he's not dropping this on his own accord bro it's not like he doesn't have songs bro he's weird the leaks that we've been getting are some of the best music we've ever heard from this bro so it's not like he's not making good music bro like i hope he's working during his break but like there's a possibility he's not but i i'm pretty sure he is bro because he loves making music but it's the prop the problem comes in releasing the music a lot of people try to put the blame on travis scott and cactus jack or whatever I believe when Travis saw Fago, he genuinely believed in him, bro. And he did the same thing with Don Tolliver. He genuinely believed in Don Tolliver. Look where Don Tolliver is now. Giving him placements on albums, this, that, and the third. The reason why Fago is probably not getting placements on Utopia or he's not getting Travis features because he doesn't, for one, I don't think he wants it. We, I think there was an article where he said that he doesn't want a Travis feature for some reason because um, he want to build up his own organic fan base with my you're not even trying to do that so it's like what are you saying right now i think travis genuinely believed in him bro and when they had that little fallout thing where they both unfollowed each other or travis unfollowed fago on instagram i think that was some shit that happened behind the scenes i may sound like a parasocial bro but i'm just trying to i'm trying to put together some shit that we don't even have an answer for bro so it make me sound crazy i think it was just some shit where travis was like okay bro i need you to, you know what i'm saying like 
I just signed you, bro. I gave you a couple million dollars, bro. I need you to get on your sh bro. You feel what I'm saying? And Fago wasn't, I guess Fago, like, Fago wasn't trying to hear that shit. I mean, I, I guess they good. I mean, they all good now, bro. But I guess Travis was just like, okay, bro, you gonna take the Sheck West route, my I guess, you know what I'm saying? Like, but the thing is, Travis, Travis likes Sheck. And Travis will repost Sheck West music. He doesn't repost Fago shit. Because I think he he probably like a little bit mad at Fago, bro, just because of the shit that he did. Which rightfully so, man. I gave you a couple million dollars, bro, and you just sat on your for two years, bro. I mean, you made that one album, but you could have dropped um, a completely different album. See, this is what you're supposed to do. Now, Yeet was very good at this. He struck the iron wise hot. Boom, boom, boom. He kept dropping the same sound. Not the same exact sound, but around the same shit, bro. And then... We get to the 2093 where he's changing up the sound, bro. That's the only reason we got there is because he had to strike the iron while it's hot to get to where he needed to go. Now they're selling 70k first week off off 2093, bro. He's out of the he's out of the underground, man. He's been out of there. Another thing is I don't think Fago cares anymore, y'all. Like I think most of this really happened from the pink hearts, like the whole pink heart slander, bro. Like that whole week i really enjoyed the album like i swear to god like i'm not even just being a because i'm a fago fan bro but that's genuinely if you ask a lot of fago fans they're gonna tell you the same thing they genuinely enjoyed the album because it was a good album bro but it just wasn't what everybody else wanted at that time which is kind of crazy because i guess they waited like a year and a half two years and they thought he was gonna keep the same 2019 fruity beat sound that he was using way back then now that's his fault for low-key not keeping keeping up with it and, and and releasing music that's going with his sound change instead of just popping out on some whole different shit, trying to make clean music and shit. like some songs were censored and this that and the third bro and some songs like transition between transparency at the beginning of the album to the second track out wasn't finished it was like certain shit was uh censored and certain songs weren't censored but i don't know to read like it's like everything was just unfinished at that point he put out 85 percent complete project and then on top of that just didn't give a f to even finish the because he waited so long he just wanted to get that chapter out of the way bro but it's like nigga, you prolong this sh this long this one i got this bad like i mean everything when i say this bro fago is genuinely probably the most talented that we have out of that whole 2020 i mean 2019 2021 underground scene bro genuinely most talented bro he got a beautiful voice bro he can sing he can rap he can do all that sh bro but it just comes to hard work beats talent every time you see ken Carson, you see people like destroy lone you see people like you see people like fucking che you know what i'm saying even though che che can sing this too but it's like bro hard work gonna be talent when talent fails to work hard bro y'all know that shit but he might be the most talented but he doesn't work hard he might work hard but he doesn't drop the music my so if you're working hard bro i'm sorry i'll be getting mad at this shit, bro but if you're working hard and you're not dropping no music nobody knows you're doing shit. I don't give a f you post a picture of you in the studio, bro. I can go to the studio and post that shit my damn self. You feel what I'm saying? Obviously, bro, the Astro World tragedy affected the Pink Hearts rollout because it was originally supposed to be around that time. Because y'all know Let's Lose Our Minds dropped in like September of 21, which it also took him a long ass time to drop that shit. It took him like six, seven months to put out one single after being signed. Boom, Let's Lose Our Minds, September. The Astro World tragedy happens in like October, right? So then the whole Cactus Jack kind of takes a step back. That also delayed Travis's album because Travis was supposed to drop Utopia around that time too. Y'all remember he dropped Mafia and Escape Plan, that little two pack. Like that was all, man, that was supposed to be the Jack Boys year. That don't mean Fago has to go into hiding for a year and a half. Man. He's now, he's more off the internet now than he's ever been. But that whole period of us just waiting for music and him giving us, he only released one single in that time. That's what y'all gotta realize. The Baby Jack album that dropped on that spam SoundCloud page that he didn't promote or anything so that people could hear the music. You feel what I'm saying? He could have at least did that sh A lot of people don't even know Baby Jack exists. And look, y'all, I'm going to be honest. I'm still a big fan of Fago, bro. I'll forever be a fan of Fago, bro. But at some point, it's like we just got to stop caring about whether or not he's going to pick up his We want that to have a better career than he wants from himself. With that being said, my nigga, yeah, uh, I'm out. Let me know who y'all going to and Betty Hub in the comments, bro. Be sure to like the video. If y'all made it this far, you gotta subscribe. Appreciate y'all for watching. I'm out of here, bro. Let's just hope Fago drops, man. That's all we can do.